Hey guys, it's Reagan, and today I'm going to be talking about what to expect from Star Wars at D23. So guys, you guys know the drill. Before I get started, please subscribe if you haven't already. I love it when you guys subscribe. And also, if you want to follow me more on my social medias, I have all of my social media usernames around. And also, they will be linked down below. I'm about to go study abroad in Madrid for the fall semester, so if you want to see more of my travels and stuff like that, that will also obviously be on my Instagram. And also just my day-to-day -day and stuff, I post maybe too much on Twitter and some Star Wars stuff there too. So, yeah, so that's that for that. So now, let's get into this video. So the first thing I wanted to say was, for me, I did not expect like very much of anything of Star Wars at Comic-Con. We really didn't get much. We got that there was going to be a comic series about the rise of Kylo Ren, so it's going to be Ben to Ren, and then The Rise of Skywalker is going to be Ren to Ben. As you know, I'm a huge supporter of Ben Dinshin. If you're watching my Episode 9 prep videos, which I have a lot of, I have a whole playlist full of Episode 9 prep videos, so if you guys want to hit those up, because it's been a long wait since The Rise of Skywalker, hit those up. We didn't get much, and it was basically the MCU spotlight. And the deal is, is that I knew this. I knew that we weren't going to get much at Comic-Con. And JJ said that he wasn't ever going to top the Force Awakens panel there, so he wanted to do something bigger, and then it just couldn't happen. So basically, I think Star Wars is going to be the main player at D23. And I tried to get, I tried to go to D23, but then I looked at my bank account, and then I was like, wait a second, I'm a full-time college student, and I only make $8.50 at a movie theater right now, so like, and also, yeah, that's, that's why I have my movie theater job, so I can see The Rise of Skywalker 14 times in December, because I get in movies for free! So I'm keeping that job um, over winter break, so if you, if I'm not very active on here, it's because I'm working a lot and watching The Rise of Skywalker a lot. So anyway, if it's good, and if it's, if it's bad, I'll cry, like every day. Just kidding. Basically, I think what's gonna happen is, so what's, you're not gonna get a ton of The Rise of Skywalker, I really don't think... I don't think they're going to release a trailer. I think that they're going to release their full, like, full-length trailer in October, on Friday, October 4th, for The Rise of Skywalker, a new trailer. Um, I think that what also, we are also going to maybe get the BTS scenes again, just like we got from The Last Jedi, and they showed a little bit before the Star Wars panel at Star Wars Celebration, and so maybe they'll have some more stuff like that, and... I don't really think that's going to be a full-length trailer. Maybe we'll get, like, bits and pieces. I think there might... And they said that there might be a sizzle reel. So I think that maybe we get bits and pieces for the sizzle reel of the live actions that are coming out, maybe. So I would think that they would include some footage that we got at the stock folder meeting. So Ray doing acrobatics, doing repair work. Kylo Ren in a white room just staring at Vader's helmet. And something like that, and maybe Ray, Poe, and Finn on the Falcon. So that's basically what I think with the Rise of Skywalker content. I don't think it'll be too much. I don't know. I don't really think there's going to be a lot for them. Of course, I want more content because you guys know I love more content, but I'm not really seeing it. And then I think that basically we'll get the more Mandalorian. That's going to be coming out on the first day of D23. So that Friday, which D23 comes out at the same time as my girl, Lover. So, um, Lover by Taylor Swift, the album comes out, D23 is that weekend. So basically, I'm going to be partying up all that weekend, trying to absorb as much new content from all my favorites as I can. But, so, we'll get some more with The Mandalorian. I think we'll get, like, another trailer, so maybe some bits of the first episode. And, yeah, that's basically... Not too much with that, but I think that that's what that's going to go. We're going to get more of the Clone Wars, most likely, because the Clone Wars is coming out. Again, Clone Wars returns, and that fall... They already released a Resistance, the Resistance little trailer, so I don't really think that there's going to be much of that. But here's what I'm thinking. So basically, that's stuff we already know. Here's what I predict with D23, with, like, the new content Star Wars is moving forward. I think that this era... Since the Skywalker saga is going to be ending, I think that what Disney realized, what Lucasfilm realized, and they said, Kathleen Kennedy said this, is that they can't release two Star Wars movies in, like, a year. Because Solo didn't do that well. It's partly because it's not really what Star Wars fans wanted, and I don't know. It's just okay. It was okay. But I think that the thing is that, is that, so basically what I think is that they're going to maybe talk about the Game of Thrones showrunners D&D &D, their trilogy 
which allegedly takes place in the New Republic. So they might talk about that and talk about the release dates because that's supposed to follow after the Skywalker saga. Maybe get a little bit more with that. I don't know if they'll necessarily say titles, but maybe it'll get a little bit more backstory and stuff like that. Nothing like, no concrete stuff, but they're just going to basically tell us a little bit. But I think that this era of Star Wars will be more focused on TV. I think that Disney is putting a lot of emphasis on Disney+. Plus. Obviously, they have so many MCU movie TV shows, and I think that they should, Star Wars should do more with TV, because honestly, so we got the Clone Wars, we got the Mandalorian, but I think that what would be cool is if they did like the anthologies with our favorite Jedi. Of course now, I always, I'm always a big person that I love the Jedi ideology, I love learning more about the Force, and so that's where I think it'd be more fun. I think that what they could do is basically, since they kind of led on Solo to have maybe a little bit of uh, like tie-ins with other films. Maybe they can have a TV show centered around Darth Maul and even though they have the Mandalorian so I don't know if they would do him taking over like Death Watch and see him become this like leader of black market and Darth Maul being the leader of that. So maybe have a little bit of that um, as a TV show. Kind of have like what Solo spin-offs would be as a TV show. I for one, I love the character. I love Obi-Wan. I love Ewan McGregor and so I think it'd be fun to have like a mini series with Obi-Wan. Okay. So, I recorded this video yesterday because today I got my wisdom teeth taken out. And while I was editing this video, it's been confirmed that Ewan McGregor is going to return as Obi-Wan to a Disney Plus series. And I just wanted to say that because I didn't want to re-record this video because I literally look like Humpty Dumpty right now. And also because I was right. So, yes, just to share that good news with you guys. And be like, what's that man doing on, like, Tatooine? I know that Samuel Jackson wants to play Mace Windu again, so have maybe more on those Jedis that we know but like it's not like a ton of information on them you just have some like a Jedi anthology show of course with like Obi-Wan and I just because I love Obi-Wan but something like that I still think that they should focus more on like TV for right now I think that Disney Plus is going to be a great platform for them and then we'll have to see what happens with the D&D trilogy i don't think there's going to be much with ryan's trilogy like at all i think that's still like very in developmental stages not supposed to take place after dnd so i think mm, not really going to talk about that but i would say that if star wars had any surprises and announcements and it's going to be big i think that your thing is is that they're going to have tv so i think they might announce like two more tv shows that i think would be live action and have that on the table because the next D23, they have it every two years. And so after the next one, I think we'll have more film and it'll be more film oriented. But yeah, so that's what I'm thinking for D23. But that's what my predictions for D23 is. I really hope I'm kind of wrong with The Rise of Skywalker and got more content, but I doubt it. I know today I wanted the Entertainment Weekly cover to be about like the Rise of Skywalker, but no, it was about the crown, which I'm excited about. I love Olivia Coleman, but <sighs> need more content. It's awful. But yeah, so that's what I think D23 is going to be out. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Check out all my Raylo videos. Check out all my episode 9 playlists because I got a lot of <laughs> Star Wars videos this year. So hit them all up. And yeah, so thanks guys so much for watching and bye-bye.